I drafted a graded sloper from the Helen Joseph Armstrong pattern making for fashion design. And now I'm going to try to put it on the model here in the OptiTech system. Stitch your pieces together. Every piece has to be stitched together. Uh, not exactly the way you do it in real life, but every segment has to be individually stitched. And I did some of the segments ahead of time before the video, and I'm going to do a few to show you. There's some open ones here on the side of the skirt and the side seams. This is the little sewing machine symbol, and you always have to remember to go clockwise. And you click on one and go on the other, and you have to go clockwise. So now I'm going down to this side. There's a little two over the sewing machine and that's going to that side and now I'm going to try I have to do it on this side not the flip side so I have the side seam here so I'll click on one go down here and there's a little number two over the machine so I'm going to go over here and go over here now I have to go I left one little segment open you see when you have darts you have to have match up segments here between the darts so that's a little different than real life so I have this with this segment this with this segment this with this segment and now on this side you'll see there's a little segment I have missing here I'll double check to make sure and I'll go clockwise here and then I'll go clockwise here and then I'm ready to sew now just to give you a little uh, basic understanding of what you have to do is I can select all of these pieces here and I can select a shader this is a shader and I can decide what kind of color I want it or what kind of pattern or fabric I want on my model my pattern is here and I can offset it, I can scale it, I can flip it, I can do all sorts of things. And I can even uh, change the color of my thread. So now I'm going to uh, load the fabric. And there's the fabric. I can turn it around. Everything is looking like it's sewn correctly. Sometimes the sewing has to be, you can move pieces, you can kind of position it. okay uh, one little note you have to have the thread you have to see the thread underneath the arms otherwise it uh, doesn't simulate good and I'll push this back so you can see it and this is the simulation button for the sloper I've already you can set the size of the model there's a place for model properties that you can totally set the size those green lines are there because I had all the pattern pieces selected. It's still simulating. Okay, now I'll turn her around. Turn her around. Okay, now you can actually save this little 3D uh, file here. The little runway viewer is free from Optitex, and you can save it, and you can send it to your client, and they can look at it. I'll show you. I'll save it. You can send it with the model or without the model. I'm going to save it uh, just as uh, a cloth file. I'll compress it. So I saved it to show you how you would send your product uh, to another division or to the manufacturer so that you could discuss it when you're developing it. You would take it, the file that you saved, and you would just drag and drop it onto the Runway Viewer. The Runway Viewer is a free application from Optitex so your uh, manufacturer can get a, a copy of it. Anybody you're dealing with can get a copy of it and you would use your left mouse button to turn it around and you can see you can use these images for also merchandising a product 
Okay, you would use your two buttons to move it either horizontally or vertically. Left mouse button turns it around. I'm just dragging my mouse. Now if I want to see the top or bottom of a product, I'd use my right mouse button and I'd turn it or I'd pull my mouse towards me. And then if I want to straighten it up, I hit the center and it straightens it up. So this is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful multi-dimensional application for product development, fashion product development. My muslin fabric on my sloper. I'm going to select all my pieces and then I'll go to the shader button and select a new texture. Here's the muslin. We selected all the garments so there we have the muslin on the model and then we can we can turn her around we can look at the fit we have we can change the proportion of the body we can change the measurements of the avatar dress form the avatar can be either very very thin or very very heavy you can control uh, you know all the different measurements so that it is comparable to the fit that you want and you can look at all the seams and there you are you've got the sloper here I am. I'm going to drag and drop the sloper in now with the muslin. There it is. I can look at the fit. I can look at my seams. See how the darts match up. I can look at the underarm here. See how it is here on the back of the sleeve. There's a dart on the back of the sleeve. I can remember I can change the thread to be anything that I want then I can set it right there isn't this a fabulous fabulous teaching tool Optitex the multi-dimensional application of the future